Made it to paradise. <laughs> You're good. does something to you. It makes you happy. Cheers! We made it to Florida! <laughs> and we're starting off with a bang, baby. We're in the Emerald Coast. Why am I talking to you with an imaginary gun? Last year, we avoided the panhandle because it's just so expensive. Um, but this year, I told Nathan, we gotta make it happen. I've been here, but it was like almost a decade ago. Nathan's never been, so I'm really excited to see his first impressions of this area. It's known for its emerald water, hence Emerald Coast. Florida last year was the highlight for me. I love the beach, the water, playing volleyball, being in my bathing suit all day. I'm already in it because I'm so excited. Dude, it's so nice. I'm out, dude. The water and Florida has some of the best beaches, I think, in the United States. And I'm so ready to see more of this state. This is gonna be a dope photo, babe. You're looking hot. Make sure it's a good angle this time, Nathan. Last photo you took, I look like a fat little bin chicken. No, it's epic the way the light's hitting you, babe. You look like a phoenix or some shit. Oh, watch out for the wave, babe. Oh, shit. We're staying in Florida on the Emerald Coast, an unofficial name for a 100 mile stretch of pristine coastline, which includes some of the nicest beaches in all of Florida. What am I talking about here? I'm talking about Navarre Beach, Pensacola Beach, Fort Walton Beach, Panama City Beach, and Destin Beach. Staying in this area can cost a pretty penny. Most RV parks range between $70 to up to $130 a night. We found a small RV park in Navarre, just a five mile drive to the beach. It's got nice concrete slabs, but the sites are a little tight and our setup was a bit unconventional. That's so annoying. I know. You think, but what if the wind comes and starts raining like crazy? The wind's not gonna blow it off. Please. You know those things they do to play uh, croquet on, on the lawn? Yeah. We should have those around the stinky slinky so it doesn't fly away. Yeah. The highway right there literally as cars are driving by. And the sights are so tight that like, we had to be this close to the grass because otherwise we wouldn't have enough space to park our car. So, I mean, price wise, it's a little bit cheaper than most that I found, but it's still not cheap. <laughs> there are those frogs again. Oh. So last night, we fell asleep to the noise of frogs croaking. And it kind of sounds like they're saying, hey, 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 hey. He likes your ring. He likes the sun. Dude, he's like three times the size of the babies. I'm sad and dead. So we just finished grabbing coffee at East Pass. Their drip coffee, I'd say, really good. 8.7 out of 10, maybe 8.8. .8. I um, thought it was a nine. It, uh, I don't know. It's nine better than Starbucks drip, I think. Well, yeah, but that's not saying too much either. No. You know, anyways, moving on from the coffee. Uh, we just came back. We just did the, the harbor bo boardwalk, harbor boardwalk. Yeah. And that was pretty neat. Destin's got money, that's all I gotta say. That was my first impression when we came across that bridge. Got to see Crab Island on the left, which was amazing. There were already people this morning there with their boats, partying, I'm assuming. Early morning drinking, it's five o'clock somewhere. And the sand- It's 5 a.m. somewhere. It's 5 a.m. somewhere too. <laughs> the, the sandbar, even from the bridge, I could tell how shallow it was. I mean, there were people, and the water was coming up to their knees. So now we're heading to Destin Beach. And if we have time, we're also going to uh, swing by the state park here. We might also get a Florida State Park Pass, if it makes sense, 
because we want to see a lot of state parks this year. Um, Hell oh! yeah. <laughs> We're at a traffic circle. Uh, um, because man, I feel like the state parks in Florida are magical. So many, it, what's the one that has like the manatees and the, the springs or? Well, there's Jenny Springs. I don't, yeah. know, I don't even know if that's a state park, but last year we oh. went to a few and we paid uh, for each one individually. So I think it might make sense to get the state park. Somebody's honking at you. Harbor Walk Village is a cool little touristy spot we walked around for an hour. It's clean, very well kept, they've got great shops, oceanside restaurants, bars, boats for hire. Also, we didn't realize we were right next to freaking dolphins! want to shop till you drop or put your head in a great white shark, then go to Destin Commons. Don't you worry, son. It will all be over soon. It's luxurious. I'm just going to my beach resort. Yeah, right on the beach. My little apartment. <laughs> yeah, I've got my little kitchenette. It's quite nice. Yeah, yes, my yeah. of course my fridge is stacked. I've got tons of little vodkas. <laughs> Teeny tiny little vodka. Do I go right or left here? Left. Wow, this place is palm tree heaven. I mean, look how blue the water is on Google Maps. Damn! It's photoshopped. So as you can probably assume, most of these beachfront homes and condos are rentals. Average nightly rental with ocean view, about $150 a night with taxes. Average asking price, if you're lucky to find one for sale, $750,000 and upward for anything over 1,000 square feet with ocean view. Hey, we got a lemonade spiked. No, no, no. <laughs> we thought about it, but no. <laughs> All right, you got the keys, lock it up. Got it. Dude. This is the finest sand I think I felt. Oh, wow. In the United States. Oh my God, States. it feels like flour, you know? Yeah. So thin. Wow. Hell yeah. <laughs> Look at this freaking view. Dude, it's not, see how it's not cold? No, it's not. It, it was cold at first. Yeah. But then once you get, once you touch the water and you feel it, it's not cold at all. It's warmer than Southern California. Perfect. Yeah, I think it is. Dude, look at how clear this water is. <laughs> the return of the squish ball. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Re-entry not guarantee. What does that mean? They just say re-entry not permitted. Man. Did I, get, did I got a, what, 10% chance of being re-entered <laughs> into this park? What's the re-entry not guaranteed thing? That's confusing. Man. Is it like a raffle? Am I, do I have to get on a <laughs> raffle ticket? What is this? Oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is the standard everywhere here. This is just outrageous. The colors here. Oh, Chris, look how clear the water is. This is ridiculous. It's a good amount of people, actually. The fact that this is a state park, though, that's pretty cool. Nathan. <laughs> all right, Nathan's getting us all set up. 
we finally have perfect, perfected, perfected. We've perfected. <laughs> the best beach setup for us. Better prepared than last year. Yes, definitely. Two chairs, one with a little table to hold all the drinks. We have a nice beach umbrella from Costco. Bahama, Costco. <laughs> Discount code, save 20%. <laughs> beach noodle. We also bring always our beach volleyball because we love peppering. And this is our snorkels. And we just went to Publix, got another sandwich. And of course, the Jesus sandals. Hi. This is Nathan's alter ego. Trying to bully with me. <laughs> why water so warm right here in this situation right here it's because of urination urination <laughs> keeps the water temperature elevated feels better more comfortable but don't not taste so good <laughs> dolphin urination right <laughs> <laughs> And a big shout out to these guys. Every person on this list helps us to continue making these videos. We appreciate you. Take cover now, move to a basement or interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors or in a mobile home, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. This cluster of thunderstorms is capable of producing tornadoes and widespread significant wind damage. Do not wait to see or hear the tornado. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. But the area of impact, it shows we're literally right outside of it. Okay, well we have to like, look, like I'm not even lying. Yeah, well we have to make an executive decision of whether we leave. Well, in worst case, you wanna duck. Duck. The good news, like lay it on the floor flat. But hi there. Uh, random question for you. Sorry, we are just down the street from you guys. We're not from here. We're at an RV park. We just got a tornado warning. Or is anybody else worried about that in this area? We just looked it up, and it showed like this area in the Panhandle. So. I was just curious, is that like a normal thing? Should we be like, uh, can we just show up at a gas station? Mainly just the panhandle needs to be on alert right now. We've been tracking these storms all night long. Two confirmed tornadoes on the ground earlier today. These are nothing to mess around with. Pensacola Beach, you're right on the doorstep of this. Haven't even seen the heaviest portion of it. Um, it's heading your way. Really, we'll be there in about the next 10 to 15 minutes. <laughs> I was lightning before the thunder. Thunder, thunder, thunder. All right, so we are not going to leave the trailer. We've decided to stay here. The biggest reason is uh, about 10, 15 minutes ago, the wind got really crazy. It was pouring rain, branches were falling. There's a gas station less than half a mile from here. So it would have worked out perfect, but they're not answering. I did get in touch with another gas station that's 10 minutes from here who said we could come, but I think it's too far for us to drive. So um, yeah, the storm now has subsided. I've been checking my Climb NOAA app. I just downloaded it really quickly. It shows that the, the worst part of it is past, but we're still not really sure. Do you have anything to say? Um, no, I mean, it's lots of thunder, lots of lightning, big old thunder, <laughs> and uh, like a lot of flood warnings as well. But I think what's interesting about this little park is he has all these tykes all around us and where water can drain out. So I'm not really too worried about that for us. I am worried about the 80 mile per hour winds. If that were to hit us, that would be pretty bad for everybody in this park. Yeah. yeah, I was looking across at all the other trailers with like slide outs and stuff. I mean, they would get thrashed around. We have nobody behind us on this side, but we have a, a, another RV here 
if we were if the wind pushes us that way we'll fall into one of those tykes so that would suck yeah <laughs> yeah it's um yeah i think it was best to just stay here and play it safe because like if we got on the road and didn't make it into shelter i, I wouldn't want to be stuck in the car like it just doesn't you know, no so. no the the bummer is that we're at one of the only rv parks we've stayed at that doesn't have like a grounded building you know like a bathhouse the truck and the trailer is really all we got so we've kind of been you know they tell you not to be by a window and not to be looking out for a tornado or listening for one but we've never gone through this before so i'm like googling like what the fuck do i do um trying to be safe and yeah it is nerve-wracking being in a trailer that is you know made out of plywood, yeah made out of plywood and is not you know bolted into the ground so i just got a nice little adrenaline rush and i feel like okay i can chill now but really we don't know we really don't know what could happen next so yeah, um, 20 minutes probably. yeah so i'm gonna put the camera away and be safe and yeah we'll check back in later moving on <laughs> Now, if we stay in Florida for too long, we're going to have to talk like this. <laughs>